And in Nollywood, the cinema industry is gradually gaining some new momentum following months of the COVID-19 pandemic-induced lockdown. New titles are already flocking to theaters, and we are at the premiere of the faith-based Stepping in Maggie's Shoes. Details coming up now. This is the concluding phase of another story from the pages of a book to the big screens. As the buzz returns to the theaters after many months of shutdown, a screen adaptation of Akwemi Akitunde's same title book, Stepping in Maggie's Shoes, gets an early nod into the theaters. Don't start again now. In Done Love, Betrayal and all the scandals in between, the faith-based movie tells the story of a young, well-desired pastor and his excesses. See, the way it works is this. I, I, can, I can sleep with any other woman, but no other man can touch my wife. It's like a, a special kind of grace. Are you truly a man of God? Surprisingly, I am. So, what are you proposing? You can have a wife. I did not sleep with her. She slept with me. Mike Abdul from the famed gospel band Midnight Crew plays a flamboyant Casanova who had his eyes on coveting his pastor's wife. I'll get your story on every newspaper. I'll take her back. She's mine. I know she's mine. I think uh, this, this one is different. This story is different. It's very relatable. It's not uh, outright religious. It is, uh, it is every day. It's an everyday story. Uh, very relatable, like I've said. Very believable. Um, honestly, beyond faith, it, go, it will go a long way to impact society. And I think I like that. I like it when you can use your beliefs to actually um, impact society. I think that's what this movie is about. It uh, boils on um, learning a lot of lessons. I'm going to say that the lessons are basically uh, uh, pointing towards love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Uh, all that part in this movie, I think it's a beautiful one. The movie also stars popular Nollywood faces including Femi Jacobs, Liz Benson, Yukiri Anudobi, and Koladi Okeo, who strongly believe there's a big message in the movie for the youth following recent social political events in the country. You don't even know what I've done, oh. You don't know what I've done. Kilo Sheni Koko, To Jeki Ma. Kusia Yemo. Ah, Papa. Kusia Yemo. He also believes in giving the young generation um, a chance. Unfortunately, the young generation, the representative of the young generation, that he gave a good chance to disappointed and that that's one of the major lessons that we must draw from this movie stepping into Maggie's shoes um, stepping into Maggie's shoes talks about uh, patience it talks about humility and the need for the younger generation to patiently wait for mentoring mentoring is needed not only in ministry work mentoring is needed both in ministry work in in in, in politics Yes, one of the sad story of our nation is that young people are not interested in mentoring. They are interested in um, the, the game. They are interested in the throne. They are not interested in the, uh, in the process of mentoring that brings people into leadership position. And that's why this movie seems is needed at a time like this to remind the younger generation that every facet of life requires patient mentoring. With the cinemas locked since March this year and only allowed to open doors recently, the executive producer explains the current state of the industry. We produced um, the same last year and were supposed to go to the cinema by April during Easter. But because of the pandemic, we couldn't go to the cinema. So you could imagine all the logistics, all the publicity expenditure. We even went overseas. We traveled to Europe, to England um, for tour. But we were all locked down after some shows and all that. So we, we had our own share of the delay or our own share of um, the expenditure tie down. But to the glory of God, we're bouncing back. Here we are today. I mean, we couldn't be happier and excited seeing everybody looking forward to wanting to see it, wanting to know what Sims is all about. She raped me. Excuse me, ladies. Uh, yes, ma'am. I believe you're both in church to worship and not to 